And I'm Ron Clark. Happy New Year 2022. Um, this is going to be a fairly short little video. Um, a friend uh, called Jovica, who uh, responded in, uh, uh, wrote to me in response partially uh, to my last video on the vital energy, wanted me to clarify the way in which one conveys an idea, thought, purpose, etc., into or onto the vital energy. How do you tune the vital energy to meet your desired goal? Um, and at first it was like, whoa, how do you explain that? It's kind of like describing to someone how you tie your shoes. You know, it's just such an automatic thing that you never stop to think, well, how what would I describe this to someone? And it's kind of baffling, you know? Uh, how do you describe something so fundamental? Um, and so I, I gave this quite a bit of thought. <clears throat> and I realized that the ways that I do it are really irrelevant to another person. They're very personal. Um, for instance, um, well, for instance what? For me it's like uh, dropping a dropper full of dye into a uh, big container of water and the, the water becomes colored uh, with the dye. Um, it's sort of like that, but at its base, at its root, no matter who is doing it, no matter what way they're doing it, um, it all comes down to the mind. Consciousness, by its very nature, moves energy. It controls energy. Our consciousness is always controlling and moving the subtler forms of energy, like the vital fluid, uh, the vital energy, um, the elements, the fluids, the various lights that we use. This is all controlled with consciousness, with the mind. Consciousness is constantly doing this. Um, and by consciousness, I mean the intentional uh, awareness and the subconscious are both equally doing it. And this is, this is the essence of self-sabotage when we come to doing the exercises or when we're coming to transform our character. Because all these subconscious um, habits that we have are manipulating energy. So often it's our own self-doubts and self-questioning um, that sabotage our progress and that's coming from the subconscious habits. Um, so when it comes to consciously and intentionally uh, manipulating energy like the the vital energy it's all done with the mind and it's just so easy to do. Um, the only thing in our way is our own mind, you know, our own thinking, our doubting of um, our ability to impress an idea on uh, the vital energy or to move it into a person's, you know, kidney, for example. Um, it's only our own doubt. And it's very simple. We just do it. Um, for me, when I go to impress a thought or an idea onto the vital energy, there is a sort of inner pressing down on that uh, vital energy, pressing my, my idea or pushing it into it. Um, but there is, of course, no physical pushing. There can be, you know, this is the essence of all these little rituals that we do. We 
the ritual just supports what our minds are doing with the energy. You know, um, it's sort of a telling, you know, instructing the energy that it is now resonating with this idea. It is now moving into this person's kidney and affecting a healing. That's just my mind telling it what to do and observing it do what my mind has told it to do. Um, and it, there is just no doubt because I know that my consciousness moves energy constantly. So this is nothing strange, there's nothing unusual about doing that. So, when it comes to telling someone else how to do it, the main thing I would convey is to get rid of your doubts. I mean, consciousness does this automatically, and it is that simple to just think that this is what is happening, to picture that this is what is happening, to feel that this is what is happening, to know that that is what is happening with the energy because your consciousness has directed it to do that. And the more you doubt, the question, well, did it really? You know, is it really strong enough to do that? The, the more it doesn't happen for you. Um, fear is the great magic killer, as it were. Uh, doubt is the great killer of magical will. Um, it requires that you just accept that it's really happening and know that it's really happening. Know that you have accumulated the vital energy and that you have changed it to transformed it into your idea into your will. It, it just, when you intend it to be, it is. <laughs> it's that simple. And it's, you have to let go of those doubts when they come up, when you're, you're questioning yourself, just let it go, set that aside. Just dampen it down. And just rest assured that you are impregnating your will, your thought, your idea into this energy. And it's the same no matter what energy you're dealing with. Um, it's the knowing. You know, uh, Bard describes it as the magical will. And it's that complete, um, that easy, that automatic, um, that, you know, for me it's just, it's just second nature. Because I know that when I desire that an idea be impregnated into this vital energy, it is. Because I have willed it, therefore it is. Without question. <clears throat> so, Stop defeating yourself with this doubt that you can or you have uh, succeeded in doing this. Just do it. <laughs> it's really that simple and that, that basic, that in your gut kind of uh, knowing that your will has changed this energy into your desire. Um, <clears throat> and it does take will. You know, you have to intend it to be. You have to put your will into your intention. And that's all it takes. That is how things work. All consciousness, all consciousness influences the energies around it. That's how, you know, someone can just like totally sour the, the energy in a room. 
It's their consciousness doing it, in, 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 in influencing the energy. And it just as easily, someone can lift the energy in a room just by their consciousness. <clears throat> it's that easy. And when we do it intentionally, it's far more powerful. And that's what makes it magical, is just our intention. Okay? Because your unintentional parts of your awareness are doing it all the time. And that's what self-transformation does, is it takes those unintentional, subconscious, automatic, habitual parts of your awareness that are constantly manipulating energies, and it makes them intentional. And by making them intentional, we can transform things. You know, we have this great power in our awareness if we use it intentionally. Okay? And this is part of training you as a young mag magician to use your awareness, your consciousness, with intention. With here, you know, impregnating the vital energy with your idea, your will. This is like a lesson, a step along the way of intentionalizing your consciousness. Taking those subconscious, habitual, emotional responses that you count as negative character traits and making them intentional and conscious things that actually serve you in a positive way. So it's all tied together here in the initiation in Hermetics training. So, there you go. Okay, bye-bye, see you next time.